So you've heard of red light therapy, but you're not sure if it's legit or a whole bunch of nonsense. Some of the reported benefits of red light therapy include reducing wrinkles, faster muscle recovery, and reducing joint pain. But how on earth can a type of light do all that? In today's video, we're gonna break it all down, talk about what red light therapy is, if there's legit science to back up the claims, and how to incorporate it into your routine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, sleep, weight loss, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Now we're gonna get straight into it today. I get asked about red light therapy all the time. Usually when I'm filming my YouTube videos, I have this device in the background, which I'm asked about. And when I film my TikToks and Instagram stories, I sometimes have my larger panel in the back, which I get asked about. And right off the bat, I do wanna say that yes, red light therapy is legit. There have been thousands of clinical trials done that support the benefits. So if you can't quite wrap your head around the concept just yet, don't worry, we're gonna break that down, but just know that it is a legitimate therapy. And we're gonna get more into the specific benefits as we go through this video, but I just quickly wanna say one way that red light therapy benefited me personally. I had a double jaw surgery last year. If you've been following me for a while, you would know this. And I swear that using red light therapy consistently helped to speed up my recovery because let me tell you, I was so swollen after the surgery, which is completely normal. There's supposed to be a lot of swelling, but it's also supposed to take up to a full year for the swelling to reduce and for your movement and feeling and full use of your jaw to recover. Now it hasn't even been a full year for me. I think it's been eight, maybe nine months, and I feel like I'm almost fully recovered, Probably around three to four months, I could eat basically anything. I could chew normally. And probably around three to four months as well was when I saw the swelling decrease significantly. And like I said, I was using red light therapy consistently every day. <laughs> Even my surgeon was saying that I was recovering very quickly. So I just wanted to throw that out there right at the start. And one more question I often get that I wanted to address just before we begin is you can't just use any red light bulb to get the benefits of red light therapy. It has to be very specific wavelengths. These specific wavelengths are where all the benefits are gonna come from. And that is essentially what red light therapy is. It's a treatment that uses specific wavelengths of natural red light and near infrared light. Red light is beneficial because it enhances our energy production on a cellular level, increasing our cells' ability to create ATP. ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate, which is our cells' energy. The more energy our cells have, the better they can function. And red light therapy isn't a new treatment. It's been around for decades. In the early 1990s, it was used by scientists to grow plants in space. And since then, it has been used by top-level athletes to aid in recovery and by estheticians for skin treatments. And it's only been in about maybe the last decade and a half that at-home red light therapy devices have become available. Red light increasing ATP is at the root of all the benefits. And as I mentioned before, there are numerous high-quality studies that back up all of these benefits. Some of the main ones being improved skin health. Red light increases the collagen in our skin, which as we age, our bodies produce less and less of, and this is why we start to get wrinkles. So it makes sense that more collagen equals less wrinkles, but it also helps to prevent and improve acne, cellulite, psoriasis, and other skin conditions. It can also help to reduce scarring, heal cuts and burns faster, and even heals sunburns faster. It also improves hair growth and prevents hair loss. It also improves athletic performance in a number of ways. It's been shown to improve strength, muscle growth, and endurance. 
as well as helping to speed up recovery. It helps to improve sleep by improving the body's ability to create melatonin. It helps injuries heal faster and it can also help with stiff joints. It can help to improve thyroid function and associated diseases by helping the body produce the hormones that are needed for thyroid regulation. And these are just some of the benefits. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can't just get red light therapy from any red light bulb. It has to be very specific wavelengths. And when we talk about red light therapy, we're talking about two different types of red light. The first is red light that's in the mid 600 range, which is visible to the eye. And the second is near infrared light in the mid 800 range, which is not visible to the eye. These are proven to be the most beneficial wavelengths of red light. So the first type we spoke about, red light, it is absorbed by the skin and helps to produce collagen. So this helps with all the surface level benefits, reduced wrinkles, reduced scarring, improving sun damage, anything that's surface level, red light is what you want. The second type, near infrared light, penetrates deeper into the body. And this helps with things such as improving the health of our joints and faster muscle recovery. Now, from what I've seen, most at-home devices that are on the market right now do have both types. A lot of them have the option to use either one or the other or to use both at one time. I don't really see why you would wanna use just one or the other. You might as well just do both. <laughs> but with that being said, let's talk about how to use red light therapy. All it takes to reap the benefits of red light therapy are to expose your skin to the light. And this only needs to be done for between five to 20 minutes a day. The more surface area of your skin you can cover, the more your cells absorb the natural light. Think of it like charging your cells. The more charged your cells are, the better they're gonna perform. So there are some gyms and some beauty clinics that do offer red light therapy services, but unfortunately, unless you're doing red light therapy consistently, you're not gonna get the benefits. A one-off treatment isn't gonna do much. But thankfully, more and more red light therapy at-home devices are coming to the market. Juve, I believe, was the first company to start creating at-home devices. And that's actually where my large panel is from. It's one of their older models, so it's not available anymore. And Juve is based out of the United States. Now, I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. Red light therapy devices, they're not cheap. I think I probably paid close to $2,000 for my Juve Solo plus a few hundred dollars in shipping when I bought it a few years ago. Now, do I regret buying it? Do I think it wasn't worth the money? Absolutely not. It totally has been worth it. I use it almost every single day. But since I bought this panel, some more affordable options have come to the market. My smaller targeted device is from Bond Charge and they do have larger panels that are comparable to Juve. So to compare, the newest Juve Solo, which is the device I have, but the newer version, is currently retailing for 1800 US dollars and Bond Charge's max device is only a thousand, which is a huge savings. Plus, <laughs> Juve doesn't offer discount codes for anyone. I reached out to them a few years ago to see if I could just get a code for my followers who are asking about it. And I think they offered me a code that got you something like a free t-shirt with your purchase. <laughs> Not really a huge benefit. Whereas with Bond Charge, I do have a promo code that saves you 15%. That code is HCK15 which is a pretty big savings. That's gonna bring the price down to $850. Again, still not cheap, but <laughs> it's a lot better than Juve. <laughs> and in terms of functionality, both devices are comparable. They both have red light, they both have near infrared light. You can use one or the other, they're both awesome. So if you're not sure about making the financial commitment to a larger device, I recommend starting off with a smaller targeted device. Again, the more surface area you can cover, the better. So with this one, you can really only target small areas at one time. But like I said, for my jaw surgery, I was kind of sitting around doing this a couple times a day and that helped tremendously. 
But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you use red light therapy and what benefits you've experienced. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section and I really wanna know your experience with red light therapy. So let me know down below. I'm also gonna put the link for both Juve's device and Bond Charge devices in the description box down below if you wanna check out either of those. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on signs you have an iodine deficiency, which a lot of people have and don't realize, so you can check that out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find that here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my 7-day Insulin Resistance Masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!